Hello my gorgeous Leos, this is Debs and this is your reading for May 2022. Goodness me guys, I don't know where the first few months of this year has gone but here we are, it is May and this is your reading. Now guys, a lot of different things occurred to me in meditation. First of all, I heard a very old ABBA song that my mum used to love the day before you came. I'm going to put the link in the description. I also saw a woman wandering around a supermarket and dropping something and a man picked it up and it was almost like in a movie. Their eyes met. She said, thank you. He said, you're welcome. And there was a bit of a pause and then a conversation started He's saying, oh, you're cooking something nice for supper or something like that. Well, no, I just thought that I would be making something a little bit different. Oh, I, you know, and then the conversation just began. And it very quickly led to both of them when they'd gone through the checkouts, meeting on the street. And this guy was looking a bit embarrassed and shuffling kind of from foot to foot. And he said, look, uh, uh, if this is the way you live, you live in this area, then... Do you want to catch up? Do you want to have coffee somewhere? Do you want to go for a cup of tea? And uh, do you want to meet for a drink sometime? And she very shyly said, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. What was very interesting is no numbers were exchanged, no mobile numbers. But this woman gave him her email address. Now, I don't know whether or not this is a woman who is very conscious of her privacy. She didn't really know who this guy was. So she thought, well, let's start with an email address. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to give this guy my mobile number. But I think this is where it's going to begin. So up until now, this person may have been, this woman, I feel, may have been living a pretty, what I would say, average life, you know, getting up, going to work, whatever work that this woman does, going home unpacking maybe from a day's work or unpacking from a food shop if she's just been to a food store. You know, the normal day-to-day -day stuff and settling in the evening, cooking food and watching TV. And there's a sense of at some point this woman is going to look back and always see this time as the period before this man arrived into her life. It's going to be very significant. Okay, Leo. I'm also hearing the words, step out of your comfort zone, <laughs> okay, step out of your comfort zone. So Leo, if you know that you've had a tendency to stay in, be a little bit reserved, not really trusting people, give this person a chance. This is not someone from your past. It is not. This is someone brand new. And I'm hearing a sharp intake of breath. Oh, wow. Wow. There's going to be an instant attraction and it's going to be totally mutual. So Leo, let's start. Let's see where this reading takes us. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Leos. This is May 2022. Deep in this vision already, guys. Sorry, I paused then. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Azriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Metatron. Angela and Rose are both coming through. Arnold is coming through. Oh, okay. <sighs> Suddenly feeling very, 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 very hot. Sorry, guys. My grandmother's coming through. Oh, very emotional. When I connect with the fifth dimension, I feel waves of heat. I don't know whether or not that's normal. Other mediums out there feel that, but I do. I could sense it. Yes, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the words, she's gone now. I, I'm hearing the words sitting on the edge of your happiness, Leo. You're sitting on the edge edge of your happiness. It's as if the divine wants you to know it's just about to happen. It's just about to happen. You're going to meet this person. 
you're going to meet this person. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing, I'm hearing the words, a spring in his step and twinkly eyes. A spring in his step and twinkly eyes. Yeah, Whew, I'm feeling a lot, a knot of nerves in my stomach. Someone here is going to be shocked, but they're going to know I'm hearing instantaneously that this is the person for you. Someone's going to know immediately. Oh, my God, I've met the man I'm going to marry. That sort of energy. OK. Seven of Wands, Leo, put your defences down. For some of you, you pushed away people out of fear. I'm hearing, just came out. You're, you push people away out of fear. Fear of rejection, fear of being taken advantage of, fear of heartbreak. You push people away. Quite a few people, Leo. You've been in defence mode for quite a long time. I'm hearing for some of you subconsciously. Ace of Swords in reverse, people who have lied to you, people who have still been connected to other people. You've had enough, Leo. It's caused you to separate yourself from those around you. You may not have been out and about in the community. You may not have wanted to meet anyone new. You've withdrawn totally socially. I'm hearing that's about to change, OK? In the past, the Nine of Cups, you got involved in a situation or maybe several that related to overindulgence. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse in the immediate past. You may have put a lot of time, energy, effort into connections and nothing worked. Michael's telling me that for a number of you, that was for a reason, because you had not met your person yet. None of the other connections were supposed to work out. In your thoughts, nine of wands. You're tired, you're drained. I'm also getting the energy of someone feeling very tired of having to be defensive, very tired of having to push people away. Almost with a nine of wands, Leo, about to give up on love. Totally about to just give up. OK, well, I'm just going to be single then. That's it. I've had enough. That sort of energy. It's all about to change. The death card in the reverse. You're on the edge of a transformation, Leo. You could be finally cutting ties with someone that might have been trying to hang on to you, but I'm hearing didn't have the right intentions. In your fears, page of wands, fearing, starting a conversation with this person, okay? The world. They may have recently arrived in your area, I'm definitely getting the energy of two people from different countries living in the same place. You know, so if you're American, I've got a lot of American subscribers, um, you could be meeting somebody who lives in your city, but who is Portuguese, right? Um, but there's definitely a very strong link to a foreign country. You are not going to marry, you know, the guy that lives next door. No, this is going to be a bit of a new experience for you. I'm hearing very exciting, liberating, interesting. This person is interesting. They've gone through a lot, but it hasn't dampened their it hasn't dampened their enthusiasm for life and for love. This person is going to make you see that there are some really good people in this world is what I'm hearing. What you're hoping is that this isn't going to be, what I'm hearing is a flash in the pan connection. You know, this is not going to be a situation where you meet, you have a date and 
you know, you head off into the sunset, you never hear from this person again. You're really hoping, Leo, that that is not going to be the case. Oh, wow. Two of cups. Leo, this is your person. This is someone brand new. They're going to come out of the blue. It's going to be on a day that you least expect. <laughs> so if you're thinking about pulling on, you know, an old tracksuit, um, some slacks, not bothering with any makeup, screwing your hair back because you haven't washed it. Um, in the month of May, Leo... Just uh, be aware that this person could come out of nowhere. So it may be that you just want to remember to wash your hair the night before, stick on a little bit of makeup if you're a woman, you know, put some deodorant on if you're a guy, I don't know. Um, yeah, just be aware that this person is coming in to your life in the month of May. The fall in reverse, Aries energy, temperance. Wow. You've learned not to leap feet first into connections, Leo. You may have healed from painful situations. You could have been involved in the past specifically with an Aries or a Sagittarius. With the four of wands... <laughs> If you're patient, you let down your guard and you allow this person to get to know you, the real you. I'm hearing with no filters, okay? Then this is going to work out. Oh my goodness, Leo. The Four of Wands and the Hierophant. You could marry this person. You know when some people say, yeah, we met and in six months we were engaged, it's that energy. It's that energy. Wow. Okay. Underneath the deck. Knight of Swords. This is straightforward, honest communication. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone arriving very quickly into your life. <laughs> the Eight of Wands. Okay. Passion. Passionate communication. Things are going to move forward at quite a speed, Leo. You may be wanting to just slow things down, catch your breath. Michael's saying, go with it. He's showing me a surfer surfing a wave. Just go with this wave of emotion. You're going to be okay. I'm hearing you get, get you're going to get to dry land all right, Leo. You're not going to drown in the process. <laughs> okay. So funny as visions that come through. Um, Page of Pentacles. This is somebody who is suited and booted. This is somebody who may turn up with a gift. This is somebody who simply wants to get to know you. You may try to put this person in the friend zone, Leo, because the whole thing could happen almost as if it's out of your control. Your tendency will be, whoa, 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 slow down. But mm, I've got to say, Leo, I think you're just going to be <laughs> Michael. He's so corny sometimes. He's showing me somebody in a bowling alley, right? You're going to be knocked for six, Leo. You're going to be bowled over. Michael's laughing at me. He has a great sense of humour. Okay. You're going to be bowled over, Leo. This is your person. And it's going to happen just like that. Just like that. Okay. Whew. All right, guys. So we're delving in. Are you ready, Leo? Get ready. Get ready. All right. I'm hearing once in a lifetime. Who sang that song? Who sang that song, Once in a Lifetime? I'll try and find it. Okay, two songs there. Uh, okay, so Leo, you have been putting up strong boundaries, putting up your defences, all right? Ace of Swords, you've had to cut people out left, right and centre. It's been painful, it's been difficult. I'm hearing, oh my goodness, not another one. It's just going to crash and burn yet again. You've got almost angry, resentful, why can't I meet my person? Why is everyone else getting engaged, getting married, having kids? Why have I not met my person? Inside, Leo, you're swinging from the energy of feeling numb to feeling very angry about it. 
you know, maybe some mornings you wake up and you think, yeah, you know, okay, it's just me. It's just me. Whether you're a single mom, whether or not you've never got married, you, you know, you live on your own, whatever this is. Two, angry about it. Why can't I meet someone decent who doesn't lie? I'm sorry is what I'm hearing. Yeah. You're just fed up with having to be defences the whole time. The whole time. In the past, Nine of Cups. Yeah, you met several people. You had dates with several people. Most of them related to overindulgence. Maybe you met people that were non-committal just wanted to have a good time, involved with other people. <laughs> you tried and tried and tried to maybe get around blocks and barriers with other people. Nothing to do with you, Leo, issues that other people had. But you, you got embroiled in toxic situations. And you just got fed up with it. After that time, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you diligently worked on lots of different relationships. Maybe this one will work. Maybe this one will work. Maybe this one will work. Okay, maybe this one. None of them did. None of them did. You could have had eight or nine significant relationships in your life that, well, you thought were going to be significant, but they weren't. Crashed or burned. How you're feeling now, Leo, is... I've sort of had it. I've had it. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I've had enough. I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. I'm not even going to try and meet anybody. I'm not even going to look to see who is out there. I, it's just going to be me. I just can't face another disaster, another heartbreak. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough to do it. Okay. Archangel Michael, when do we have the energy of the death card in the reverse for my Leos, please? Timing, please, Michael. Thank you. 15th to the 28th of May. I'm also hearing 2nd and 4th of June. I'm hearing a woman say, yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd love to. Okay. So it could be that you meet this person perhaps potentially in the final two weeks or three weeks of May. It may be that you start an email conversation. It could be that you connect on social media. There's something here, Leo, about you not exchanging your mobile numbers to begin with. Yes. I feel on the 2nd, 3rd or 4th of June, there could be an official date. Yes. I'm seeing a lovely restaurant. I'm seeing... um. An Italian restaurant, Italian food, or, or an Italian ambiance. Lively, but sort of cosy, nothing too highbrow. Yeah, but very nice. <laughs> I'm hearing you're not going to eat very much. <laughs> You, Leo, you're not going to feel like eating very much. I think your heart's going to be in your mouth. You're going to be very nervous. What is the line from that film? Something like, women don't eat a lot on first dates anyway. Anyway, I can't remember. I think it's got Jack Nicholson in that film. Hmm. So, Leo, death card in the reverse. I think this is you just about to call it quits. <laughs> just That's it, right? I'm going to be celibate for the rest of my life. I'm just going to work on myself. Yeah, nearly reaching the point of I'm hearing no return. Yeah. Okay, may as well let myself go. May as well comfort eat for the rest of my life. Who gives a damn? No one's going to see my body anyway. Type of energy. It's almost as if the divine is catching you just before you tip off that scale. <laughs> Could be somebody here is having trouble with scales. Maybe you're weighing yourself, Leo. Okay. But whoever you're connecting with is full of life and energy and positivity and enthusiasm. The world. 
very high vibe. This is somebody who may say, yeah, just landed in this city a couple of days ago, really wanting to meet new people. Um, they're going to be very smiley. You're almost going to think this person is putting it on. But this is somebody who just has a very happy outlook on life. Someone extremely optimistic. And someone who just has a thirst for life. You know. Yeah. So your energies are initially going to clash. I'm almost feeling bouncing off each other. Because you're at the point where you're just about to give up. They are really excited about a new phase of life. Now, they could have left another country, left another city, changed their job. This is somebody who is on the brink of a new adventure. So they're very fired up and excited. And I'm getting a little bit of a flat energy from you, Leo. But not for long, is what I'm hearing. Not for long. What you're fearing is this is literally going to be an exchange of, you know, a few words, a conversation. And then this person is going to head off into the sunset. You're never going to see this person again. That's what you're fearing. Or fearing that this person just finds you maybe attractive, Leo, but all they really want is a quick fling. And again, it's going to crash and burn. You're fearful about that. Don't be fearful. And Leo, don't be worried if there's somebody who is younger than you. This person could be even be as much as 10 years younger than you. Don't stress. I'm hearing open-minded. Open-minded. I'm also hearing, I don't know why, for some of you, this person may have been brought up by a single mum, single parent. <laughs> Michael's telling me, and they really like strong women. Okay, oh, Leo, well, that's you, right? This is somebody who's looking for a strong woman. I don't mean dominating. I don't mean bossy. I mean strong, confident in themselves. You know, someone who's grabbed their life by the scruff of the neck and thought, yeah, this is my life. I'm going to make the most of it. They're looking for that sort of woman. And I think this could be a perfect match. In your hopes, three of cups in reverse, hoping that there isn't just one date and then again this person's going to disappear on you. Hoping they're not attached to somebody else, hoping that you're not drawn into a third party. I'm hearing again, <laughs> again. All right, Leo. But look at the outcome, guys. Two of cups. I'm hearing an explosion, an explosion of recognition. Okay, past life energy, Leo. This is someone that you've definitely known in a past life. I don't know why I'm hearing John the Baptist. I'm sorry, I don't know why. It may mean something to someone. Hmm. Yeah, this is your person, Leo. And here they come, charging in. <laughs> I'm hearing charge of the light brigade. Knight of Swords. Coming in, this is somebody extremely truthful almost shockingly truthful. I mean, this is somebody totally open, open book. You know, if you say to this person, because you're trying to find that information, so why are you here? You know, what do you do? Well, yeah, had a bit of a nightmare relationship. Ex-girlfriend cheated on me several times, decided that was it, jumped on a plane, didn't have any money, but um, I found a job. This is somebody who's just going to be out there. It's going to be shocking, but it's going to be a breath of fresh air, Leo, because you're not going to have to wheedle out facts from this person. It's just going to be out there, <laughs> which is going to make you feel that you can trust this person. There's going to be no awkward silences. You're not going to be getting the impression that this person is trying to find a way of covering up a situation. They're not stuttering on their words. No, it's, it's all going to come out very quickly and all in a rush. Basically, no time to think about formulating a lie. Eight of Wands, fast communication, fast action. Quick, 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 quick. This person may say to you, yeah, I flew in last night or something. Flew in on a plane last night. Or I just come off uh, the night train or something. It's going to be very quick. Page of Pentacles. You're going to meet that day 
whatever day this is, I keep hearing the day before you came, that ABBA song, um, and literally they're going to message you the next day, you know? There's going to be no hanging around wondering if this person is going to email you or message you. It's going to be next day. <laughs> yeah. You know, you may have spent a long time, Leo, patiently waiting for people to sort their act out, patiently waiting for people to contact you. This is just going to be bam, 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 bam. It's just going to be very, very quick. It's going to make you feel slightly uncomfortable. But I feel that even though you may push this person back a little bit, you know, I think you're going to go with it. I'm seeing again that surfer on that wave traveling really fast. Now, water is emotion, okay? Waves of emotion, Leo. You're going to fall for this person very quickly. It's going to frighten you. It's going to frighten you. I'm just warning you. It is. Your initial reaction is, oh my God, no, 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 no. They are way too attractive. They are, I'm hearing, too young for me. They are going to mess me around. They're bound to have lots of people interested. Mm. So you may push this person back a little bit. <laughs> but Leo, with the energy of temperance, after sitting, thinking about things, Balancing your emotions, getting home, putting the, the shopping away, taking a deep breath, thinking, wow, did that really happen? Did that really happen? Give you 24 hours and you're going to think, why the hell not? You may need to take a breath. You may need to take a breather to think about what happened because it is going to be instantaneous. It's going to be so fast. This may lead, Leo, don't want to be corny, it may lead to getting married, getting hitched, moving in together. It may happen very, very quickly. We have a lot of fire energy here. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Earth. We have Taurus. It's going to happen fast. I'm hearing in the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye. I'm now taken to the film with um, Anthony Hopkins. Meet Joe Black. Meeting Joe Black, lightning may strike. It's that feeling. Okay. Let's do this, guys. We're delving in. Leo. It's a beautiful reading already, but let's see what's going to happen. Here we go. We are delving in. Michael, what is the Seven of Wands crossed with the Ace of Swords? Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This is you pushing people away, having to cut people out, feeling left out in the cold. Ten of Cups in reverse, never feeling you're going to get your happily ever after. This is you thinking to yourself, yeah, well, that's it. Okay, it's, it's never going to happen for me. The High Priestess. Not really opening up to new people, staying a little bit isolated, but dreaming of maybe one day. Maybe in my fantasy, I will meet my, my person. But thinking to yourself, it's not going to happen. Hmm. Oh, Leo. The sun in reverse, feeling a bit unbalanced, not feeling very happy, but not telling many people you're just spending a lot of time on your own okay michael what is the energy of the eight of pentacles in the reverse in the immediate past you worked on several connections none of them worked out it upset you yes look at that fascinating Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups. You could have had seven relationships. None of them worked out. You were fed up with putting energy and effort into these connections. Ah, oh, Leo. Yeah, they all came in very romantic, very charming, swept you off your feet, but none of them stayed. Yeah. Left you feeling frustrated. So, what did Leo do? What did Leo do? Leo concentrated on work. So, Seven of Pentacles. 
You may have sat in your head thinking about the past for a little bit as well, but I think you concentrated on your money, your career, your foundation. Thinking to yourself, well, if it doesn't happen for me, at least I can afford to support myself. You know, not that you would wish to be codependent, but this is you looking at the practicalities of you moving forward in your life as a single person. You know, this is you thinking, well, at least I'll be all right. Ah, Michael, what is the nine of wands? What is the nine of wands? What is the nine of wands? Struggling, Leo, struggling. Wow. Nine of wands, nine of swords. You're coming to the end of a painful period, Leo. For some of you, a period that's lasted several years, where you felt on your own, disconnected from the world, maybe out of self-protection, fear of rejection, fear of heartbreak, you've kept yourself isolated. For some of you, you haven't slept very well at night. For others of you, you got into a routine of work, 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 work day-to-day -day duties at the weekends, and I'm hearing starting all over again on a Monday morning. Nothing exciting happening in your life, and almost, Leo, getting into a routine of keeping yourself so busy that you don't have a chance to think about the fact that you are feeling on your own. Now, if I keep myself busy, I'm not thinking about it. Michael, what is the death card in the reverse? Now, this is your state of mind. When you meet this person, two of wands. This is the divine Leo saying, yes, you're coming up to crossroads in your life. And you are needing to make a decision. Are you going to walk this solitary path alone? This solitary path? Are you going to walk this solitary path? Are you going to walk a solitary path, Leo? Are you going to give this person a chance? What else is on Leo's mind? Six of Wands. For some of you, you are maybe involved very heavily in your career. Will moving forward with this person or getting to know this person affect my work? Because Leo, it's almost as if that's the only thing that's kept you going. And you may have become highly successful. You may have made money. You may have people looking up at you, right? Wow, Leo, look what you've achieved, but you've been wearing a false mask because inside you haven't been happy. What you're now thinking is, oh my goodness, I've got to such a level in my career. If I move forward with this person, is it going to affect that? It could be that you've just got used to working 24-7, you know? Um, what else is on Leo's mind? What else is on Leo's mind? Okay, ten of wands, you are super burdened. It could be emotionally because you're looking at you being in a place or getting used to being in a place where you have not actually been very happy. It could be that you're weighed down with a workload and you're thinking, blimey, you know, can I fit a relationship into my life? But you know you're coming towards the end of a cycle, Leo. The divine is asking you to drop this burden. Or it's almost as if they're saying, look, here is this person on a plate. Please just say yes. <laughs> Please just say yes, because Leo, you can't carry on the way you have been, which is work, 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 and underneath, feeling really miserable. Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. Okay. What is Leo thinking about? What is Leo thinking about? Eight of Swords in Reverse. I have to get out of my head and make a decision, but it terrifies me to let this person into my life. What else is Leo thinking? I don't feel very confident in myself. Maybe, Leo, it's been a while since you had a date or someone really wanted to get to know you. You need to boost your confidence. What else is Leo thinking? 
the hermit in reverse, I have to come out of isolating myself. I know I do. I know I do. I want to come out of feeling on my own. I'd love for somebody to take me out on a date. But there's a lot of fear underneath that knowingness. But what if, but what if, what, what if? The divine is saying, Leo, just go for it. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Get out of your head. Just go for it. Just go for it. What else is on Leo's mind? Five of Cups in reverse. This does perk you up. I mean, there's nothing nicer than somebody you find very attractive, wanting to get to know you, you know. So this is you feeling optimistic. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, three of wands. And we have you, finally, Leo, energetically meeting this person halfway. Okay. I think you're pushing down the fear. I think you're getting your confidence going. I think this is you looking out symbolically across the water thinking, I have to embrace this change. I have to just push the fear down and go for it. Because it just might, it might be my person. They might be my person. What energy is this person coming in with? What energy is this person coming in with? What energy is this person coming in with, Michael? Ooh. Oh, wow, guys. The lovers and the ace of pentacles. Uh, this is someone who immediately feels that soul recognition. There's a lot of attraction. And it's going to feel divine for them. It's going to feel as if you are supposed to meet at that point on that day. There's something that this person is going to feel is meant to be. You know, they could have been wandering around a supermarket thinking, I'm never going to meet anyone, you know, that, to get to know. Oh, you know, what am I doing here type of energy? And then bam, they meet you. They meet you. Ace of Pentacles, they're going to instantaneously feel that you are for them. It may shock them. But they are wanting to move this forward. They're wanting to get this going. What is the background of this person? Ten of Swords in reverse. They've healed from some kind of painful ending. Four of Swords in reverse. They may have experienced a death in the family. They could have had an illness. They could have been suffering from heartbreak after the ending of a connection. So they have been through it, Leo. What is the background of this person? Oh, five of wands. So they had a lot of arguments and disagreements with somebody in their environment. Family members, ex-partner. Yeah, they've had a really tough time. Yeah. The star, they're healing. Aquarian energy, they're healing from a really rough time. They're wanting a peaceful, calm relationship. What is, what is it that they're wanting? What is it that they're wanting? Ace of Wands, they're very attracted to you. But Leo, with the lovers and the Ace of Pentacles, it softens the rawness of the Ace of Wands, which is lust, desire, okay? Sexual chemistry. The Ace of Pentacles is somebody who will feel incredibly attracted to you, but behind that energy of initial attraction is someone who really wants a relationship and feels a spiritual connection to you, which is gorgeous, Leo. <laughs> gorgeous. How does this person feel about Leo when they first meet? How does this person feel about Leo when they first meet? How does this person feel about Leo when they first meet? When they first meet. Oh, 
It wants to come out, but it doesn't want to come out. Oh, interesting. Four of Pentacles in reverse. They are instantaneously going to feel as if they can talk to you, Leo. This is somebody who may have been a bit closed off, like you. They can immediately feel at home with you. They're going to find you very easy to chat to. And they may find themselves telling you more than they expected to. How is this person going to feel when they meet Leo? Devil in reverse. That you are sitting in a very pure energy. You're not wanting a quick fling. You're not sitting in any shadow energy. This is somebody who's going to know instantaneously oh, that you are a good person. You're a good person. They're not going to feel a sense that you're trying to control the situation. This is not them thinking that you're going to be rushing after them. You're sitting in a very gentle energy. The moon. They're nervous about this. It's almost as if they can't believe their luck. Oh my goodness, I found a really good person. A really good person. They're going to be a bit nervous. This is somebody who may also have been through a tough time. This is also somebody who may feel that you've gone through a tough time. They may feel it or you may explain it. But they may feel that you're not wanting to delve into the past too much. But they may get a sense that you're very nervous. How are they going to feel about Leo? Yeah, Page of Cups. They're going to open up to you. It's going to be a very small start, but it's going to, I'm hearing, gather pace quite quickly. Michael, what is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between these two people? That one, okay. Oh, yeah. So, Leo, both of you have suffered heartbreak, maybe in different ways in your lives. And it could be, ironically, the energy that bonds the two of you together. This is not somebody who's had it good all their life. This is somebody who's struggled. They've experienced heartbreak. And this is something that both of you are going to understand. Very interesting. Michael's just shown me a vision of somebody walking in the desert and meeting somebody walking in front of them. And you, Leo, are giving this person a glass of water. And they're helping. They're helping you carry a bag. This is going to be. I want to say saving both of you. This is going to be a healing relationship where you both really need it. Just at the right time. I'm hearing in the nick of time. Okay. Very deep energy. Michael, what is the two of cups? What is the two of cups for my Leos? What is the two of cups? Oh my goodness, cards are flying. Oh, queen of swords. Mm, Leo, put your sword down, okay? It's almost as if you can't believe this person's going to walk into your life. There has to be something wrong with them. They have to be lying to me. They have to have a wife sitting at home. They have to be some schizophrenic. Leo, put your sword down, <laughs> okay? Just get to know this person. Because you may have gone through such a tough time that you're automatically going to assume there's something that is going to hurt you about this person. I don't think there is. <laughs> yeah. You may be a bit nervous, a bit guarded. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Leo. Knight of Pentacles. Leo, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. I don't think this person's going to push you. I do think they're going to be enthusiastic. I do think they're going to want to see you as much as possible. But it may be that you say to this person, look, I haven't had the easiest past history in terms of relationships. I seem to have met people that have hurt me, have lied to me, haven't been good to me. You don't need to sit in victim mode, you know, Leo. And they always say that when you meet someone new, you should never discuss your past. But if you do find yourself being a little bit defensive, that's all you need to say. 
you know, it takes me a while to open up to new people because I've kind of been through it in the past, you know, because I think this person is going to be very open with you. Yeah, but I do think this is going to move forward into something really lovely. Oh, justice. This is the divine bringing balance into your life. For some of you, you could even meet this person via work. This could be somebody who flies in from another city into your company. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn and Libra there. The hangman. This is you realising, wake up call, oh my goodness, they're not like the rest. Pisces energy, they're not like the rest. This is a good person. And this is you, Leo, finally feeling that you can open up, that you can begin to relax with this person. The chariot in the reverse, Cancerian energy. Yeah, this is you finding out more about them. Maybe they travel to your area. Maybe they've got um, a situation going on with a family in another country. So they may have to go backwards and forwards. I don't know why that's relevant for some of you. It could be they've got parents that they, they you know, they miss. They could come from a very close-knit family in another country. But I feel they're definitely in your area to stay, but they may travel a lot. They could even travel for work. But this is also you getting the wake-up call, Leo, that this is going to move forward. Because that card for me in the reverse is this is going to move forward. What else is Leo realising about this person? No? Okay, Michael. I thought he said pick, pick that card. He didn't. What is this person going to realise? What is Leo going to realise about this person? Six of Cups. That this is someone who is a soulmate. You're going to bond very quickly. What else is Leo thinking relating to this person cars don't want to come out the tower in the reverse they may have had a rough childhood or it could be that you realise that this person did have quite a serious relationship. They may have even married their childhood sweetheart, you know. They may have known their ex since they were 16, but it didn't work out. And that's definitely over. If they did have a serious relationship before, they may have two children. And it may be something that you need to take into account. You know, do I want to be involved with somebody who has two kids? I mean, if you're a single mum of two kids, that's four kids, right? If you've never had kids and you don't want kids, then this is something that you're going to have to compromise about. But Leo, you're in your element now. <laughs> Queen of Wands, you certainly are. You're in your element. You're feeling good about things. You're believing this could move forward. You are giving in to the connection. You're giving in. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. This person is going to put in energy and effort to make you happy. And you're going to feel comfortable that they are doing that. This is going to make you want to do the same. Yeah. Leo, this is a lovely energy for you. I think this has been long awaited. Michael's telling me to turn the deck. Don't know why. Sometimes he does. Any more energy for my Leos, please? Thank you, Michael. Nine of Pentacles. You're going to keep your independence, Leo. Yeah. So however serious this gets for the next few months, you're going to... Date casually. I think you're consciously at this point saying to this person, I really want to spend as much time with you as possible, but I do enjoy my own space. I do enjoy my independence. I'm not interested in anyone else, but I have a full life. I've got a big promotion coming up at work. I run a business, whatever this is for you. You're going to let this person know that you're not going to 
want to spend 24 seven with them. You're going to be taking this very slowly. I think they are more interested in moving this forward quickly with you because I think I'm hearing, bless, I'm hearing one in a million. They may feel you're one in a million, Leo. You know, there's no one like Leo. Wow, I've met this amazing person. They're really good. They've got a kind heart. They're attractive. They're successful. They're going to think, oh my goodness, I need to snap up Leo. You're going to be slightly more reserved. But I think you're just going to be open and honest with this person and say, look, you know, I'm really busy. I've got a full life. I've been on my own for quite a while. It's going to take me time to get used to being in a relationship. You're going to come to a happy medium is what I'm hearing. Happy medium. Yeah, happy medium. Judgment. The divine is asking you to be careful, Leo. Don't push this person away by making out that you're very happy being independent. Michael's saying yes, that was very important. Okay? Because this person wants a relationship. Now, for some of you, I have to say this could be you. Needing to face your fear in bringing someone fully into your life. You will have to think about that. When it all starts happening, you may have a tendency to put the brakes on. Oh God, no, 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 no. You're going to need to face your fear, Leo. Because this person is not, I'm hearing, going to be happy after a few months of you, I'm hearing, leaving them standing outside your door. Okay. That's for some of you. How is this going to end between these two people, Michael? How is this going to end between these two people? Will it end? <laughs> What's going to happen in the next few months? Maybe that's what I should say. Wheel of Fortune, you two were destined to meet. This is a destined partnership. The Divine is saying, we want you to move into this beautiful new cycle with this person. Go for it. And I've got to be honest, for some of you, Leo, Four of Wands, the Hierophant, you could end up marrying this person. Okay, so deep breath. When you go to the local shop to pick up food, don't go in your old tracksuit bottoms, okay? And your old trainers. <laughs> Because you may well bump into this person and then you're always going to think, yeah, I looked terrible the first time I met them. I know it's all about looks, but Leo, for some of you, you may feel a bit embarrassed, okay? If you know you have a tendency to do that. No one's going to see me. No one's going to know, right? Okay. So people, I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Leo.